Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When a customer agrees to make a purchase, for which payment will be made at a later point in time, you enter the sale into an invoice. The invoice lists the customer's information, along with an itemized list of how much that customer owes for the goods or services purchased. To create an invoice, select Customers and then Create Invoices from the menu bar. The particular invoice form used for the transaction can be changed by using the template drop-down in the upper right corner of the invoice form to select the particular type of invoice to use for the transaction. Enter customer information into the sales form by using the customer job drop-down to select a customer already entered into the customer list or by manually typing their information into the bill to and ship to fields within the form. If you select a customer from the drop-down list, then their information will automatically populate all the fields in the form. You will need to specify additional information if manually entering customer data, such as selecting the desired sales terms from the terms drop-down and specifying a sales tax code and a sales tax rate to apply to their sales by using the customer tax code and tax drop-downs that appear at the bottom of the form, for example. Now, after entering the customer information, select the invoice date from the date field. The invoice number field will automatically increment itself up to the next available invoice number. At the bottom of the invoice, enter each item purchased on its own line by selecting a choice from the item column in the first available row within the line item area. The items that are shown in the drop-down list that appears are contained within the item list. In QuickBooks, line items are used for goods and services, as well as discounts, subtotals, and sales tax lines, among others. For each line item, specify the quantity and the rate or the amount by using either the quantity and rate fields or by simply entering a total amount for the line item directly into the amount field. If specifying a quantity and rate, the amount will be calculated automatically. If this invoice is to be printed later, Ensure that the Print Later checkbox in the main tab of the ribbon at the top of the window is checked. When finished, click the Save and Close button to save the invoice, or click the Save and New button to save the invoice and leave the window open so that you can continue creating invoices. After you create an invoice, QuickBooks places a record for the invoice into the Accounts Receivable account. If creating a sales receipt, the amount received is typically placed into the undeposited funds account. Note that you can see how much is in either one of these accounts by simply opening the chart of accounts. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.